Someone say it out. Great is. Great is your faithfulness. Come on, let's just declare it in the house this morning. Your faithfulness. I'm still, I'm still in your hands. This is my confidence. You've never failed me. The is still stands. Great is your faithfulness. Your
have come through. God, I've, I've turned my eyes to you. God, you've provided. You've delivered me. My God, you've healed me. Say it to God, this is why I sing and shout. This is why I'm not ashamed of Jesus Christ. There was a time when I would look out. Actually, I'd have to sit because I couldn't sing. Literally no voice. And my God healed me. I was supposed to go for surgery, but I didn't have to because the one true surgeon worked on me. And when I'm here, God, and I'm singing and I'm blessing God, it's because God has done too much. He has done too much and he is deserving of my praise. that direction through the power of the Holy Ghost.
promises are true. So my God, when the enemy comes in like, but yeah, we're going to raise up a standard. We're going to speak your word. And saints of God, that means we have to know his word. We have to know the promises that God has for us. When Jesus himself was tempted, it was the word that he used. When God himself was tempted, he used the word. And saints of God, that is the, the weapon. That is a weapon that we have, the most powerful weapon that we have. And the enemy would fight that you don't open that Bible, that you don't open that word. Because if you don't know the word, you have no ammunition. You're just, you're just swinging and hoping to land a punch. So I want to encourage you, brethren. I encourage you, know the word of God. Know his promises for you. Because then you can truly say his promises are yay and amen. You could say, yeah, God's promises are true and speak it. Faith comes by hearing. And hearing, yes, the word of God.
Thank you. 
this morning sing Love you, Jesus.
Shabashi Kurabes. Irabashandora Ramana. God is preparing us for two things today. Preparing us for the mighty outpouring of his spirit. He's preparing us for the second return of Christ. I believe in the last day, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Young men are going to see visions. Your old men are going to dream dreams. I also believe that in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, oh, the trumpet of the Lord is going to sound and time will be no more. Church, Jesus is getting us ready for a great day. You raise your hands all over this house. Would you say, God, show us your glory. Before you come, oh, show us your glory. I know we're going to see it on the other side, but this earth needs to see your glory. <laughs> this generation needs to see your glory. <laughs> oh, God, I, I want to say come right now, Lord Jesus, but I've got family, Lord, so I say wait a little longer and show us your glory. I've got unsaved family, unsaved loved ones, God, so wait a little longer and show us your glory, God. Show us your glory in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Believers, I'm telling you, God is preparing this house to house the glory of the Lord. The Shekinah glory of God is going to rest. The glory cloud of his presence is going to rest on this house. Hallelujah. This will be a house of signs and wonders and miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ira Horesia Roshata Ramare Korebeleato. Ebedricosa, my God. Jesus, 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 Jesus,
says in 2 Chronicles 7 13 if I shut up heaven that there be no rain or if I command the locust to devour the land or if I send pestilence among my people I want us to look at that verse in the realm of the spirit because while Canada has been blessed with many things, the heavens have been shut up largely with the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Winnipeg, there's hardly a week that goes by that another church doesn't pop up or open, but they don't have the Spirit of God, the baptism of the Holy Ghost, they don't preach repentance. They don't. Because we have replaced in our nation, we have become religious with no experience. And the world, not only is God going to vomit out the lukewarm, oh my God. but the unsaved and the world looking on has vomited them out. <laughs> and has no use for it. And that's why Christianity is dying in this nation. Sinners don't want it, and God don't even want it. But he said, if my people. That there alone gets me my, he calls us my people. Are you his today? Do you belong to him? Yes. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, uh, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear it from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. This church preaches repentance. We preach it. We preach it. We believe it. You cannot serve God lest you repent. You cannot receive the Holy Ghost lest you repent. Like it, lump it. I don't care what you do with it. It's the truth. Repentance is necessary. We could have this place packed out five times on Sunday if I just stopped preaching the way we preach. But I don't want a crowd. I want somebody that's called his people. 
He said, it doesn't say if a crowd calls on my name. He said, if my people, which are called by my name. And throughout this service, as the, as, as the, the gift of tongues went forward and then the interpretation came forth, I saw the entire congregation in my I don't know if it was a vision or what it was that God was showing, but I, but I seen the altar fill up and I seen people in the aisles just bowing down in the presence of God. And I opened my eyes half expecting to see that, but, but it, it, it didn't happen. And instead the room went quiet. What God has been saying, and I've tried to get away from it because I have a message that I feel would be right on and in target with this service today but it'll hold till next Sunday because I feel like what God is requiring of us today see we've been having prayer meeting we have been having prayer meeting and God is in this house yeah 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 Brother O say, I felt like God was saying to me this morning, there's one thing I'm looking for, is will my people humble themselves? <laughs> How badly do you want it today? How badly do you want this move of God? How badly do we want this revival? Is there somebody here as I'm talking right now that'll begin to fill this altar, fill up those... <laughs> Get on your face before the Lord. Humble ourselves and cry out to God. Come on, that's it. That's it. I don't care who you are. Off your high horse and get on your knees this morning. Come on. Come on. If you're hungry for God, I don't know how to say it in any other languages. I can only say it in English. If there's somebody hungry for God, then your knees is where He wants you today. If we say we really want revival, He's looking for this church to humble themselves this morning of my people which are called by my name will humble themselves Jesus go ahead pastor Struck. 
desires to humble ourselves with you. We submit to you, O oh God, and to your will. We cry out for your glory. We cry out for the move of God that will shake our families, shake this city and this nation. We bow before you as intercessors, O oh God, standing in the gap our nation today.
love the new songs, but sometimes it just takes one of these old songs to really describe how I feel. singing surely the presence of the Lord of the Lord is in this place I can feel his mighty power I can feel his mighty power and his grace and his unmerited favor I can feel Rush of angels wings. angels wings. I see glory. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of oh. the Lord is in this place. One more time. Surely. Sing it. Come on, ladies. the men. Come on, help me now. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. I can feel his mighty power and his grace. Come on, men, sing it. Oh, I can feel the brush of angel swings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord is in. Everybody together one more time. And surely. Well, I can feel the brush of angels' wings. I see glory on each face. Surely the presence of the Lord. Standing 
on holy ground. And I know that. Do you know that? They're all around us. All On holy ground. Oh, sing it, sing it, family of God. We are standing on holy ground. And I know, and I know that there. Let us praise Jesus now. We are standing in His presence on holy ground. One last time together. Oh, sing it, family God. Jay, are you able to come up here? We're going to pray for you. Are you able to walk up here? Oh, filling us, filling us with your love. And for each blessing, we're going to live. We live our hearts in praise. Without a doubt, we know that we have been revived when we shall leave this place. We have our pastors come, Brother Ose, Brother Ian. didn't expect him to live his mama came to the front I don't know if you remember just a few Sundays ago and the Holy Ghost hit her like a lightning bolt 
And I prophesied to her that he shall live and not die. He's here this morning. God has raised him up out of that hospital by the power of Almighty God. Now, Brother Jay, you've got a call of God on your life, and he's given you a second chance at it, my friend. We're going to lay our hands on you, and God is going to complete the healing in your body this morning. Stretch your hands to the front right now, if you will.
Take that back with you to your seat. Take that back with you to your seat. Take that with you to your seat. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a prayer come true, Sister Nidra, <laughs> Brother Ian. There was a day you couldn't get anybody to dance. Now we can't stop them from dancing. Oh, dance all the more. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm not going to preach. Don't get nervous. But there's two things that we need to do before we dismiss this service today. One of them is we need your tithes and offerings. <laughs> And then after we get that, depending how good the offering is, no, I'm just kidding. Once we get that, Sister Reed, you're going to sing for us, right? You're going to sing for us today. And that's how we're going to end the service, if we're able to. All right, Pastor Dylan, come. Hey, Amen. Talk to us about what we need to be talked to about. Amen. Can, can we just praise the Lord again in this house? Amen. I like what I feel in here. And we can continue what we feel in here with giving. How many know giving is worship to the Lord? And uh, if we can just get the offering plates up here. But before we do that, I just want to encourage us to invite somebody. I was reading about the Rochester revival and like the Charles Finney revival and it just started with like a couple people praying at lunchtime and they didn't even witness to them they just said hey come pray with us and that thing blew up and like their the crime rate in the city there was like they had to lay off police officers come on somebody we have the answer to what the world is looking for they're, they're trying to find it in drugs in witchcraft there's people like worshiping moon rocks and uh, astrology and things like that but we have the real thing here and the devil fights us so hard and he fights this church so hard on our witnessing abilities but we got to remind ourselves he, did, he give us power to witness amen the holy ghost that's him witnessing he didn't just give us the holy ghost to talk in tongues on sunday he did give us it for that too but it's to be witnesses for him so be encouraged and invite somebody maybe you don't know how to witness but like come check out my church you're struggling come to church god can do something for you amen it's by our testimony that people can be delivered and people can know jesus at this time, we're going to wait on you for your tithes and offerings. Uh, at this church, we march around the front, as many of you know. And I just want to encourage us as well on the offering section of this service. You know, I had someone ask me the other day, whose church is this? Like, you know, if we sold the building, where does the money go? It's actually our church. By law, the way we're set, we're very transparent here. And the way we're set up, if we have to, if we ever went under or sold this building, we by law have to donate the money to another building another church with the same tenets of faith as us. So we, we just do it like that, and we're very open with uh, what we do here. Many of you who are members, you know that we have transparent business meetings, and every dollar that comes into this church is accounted for because we want to be open with God, and we want to be open as a church body so we, everybody knows where their money's going, what's it's going for, and every dime and dollar that comes in here is for the kingdom of God. It's to advance what God is doing in Winnipeg. So I want to encourage you today that when we give, this is our church. We're we keep this building running. Yes, we're the church as a body and when we gather together, but this physical location is kept and housed by us and by our finances and by our giving. And we know that God will bless us for it. How many, ha how many, ha can I get a witness to the blessings of God? I gave money, I tithe, and God blessed my finances. Come on, somebody. You'll never know unless you do it. So God bless you today as you give. Give it as an act of worship to the Lord. Uh, at this church, we march around the front. You can present your offering. We can also go on tithely in the app store or the play store and uh, www.thebelieverschurch.ca under the online giving section it will redirect us to the app and uh, we can give that way as well so father in jesus name as everybody gives today i pray that you would just bless them abundantly lord return your word to them that when we give it shall be given pressed down shaken together and running over lord i pray that you would use it and multiply it for your kingdom in jesus name everybody say amen so at this time come and march around the front sister diane will be in the back if you want to give by debit or credit in jesus name and just for time's sake while we're doing the offering, feel free to come do that. But we got Celebrate Recovery on Tuesday at 6 o'clock p.m. in the community center. And um, 
It's a great program. It's a 12-step program for people dealing with hurts, habits, or hang-ups. And I love this program because, you know, we get forgiven instantly, but sometimes we need to have that communication and that talk with other people. The Bible says, confess your faults to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. When we ask God for forgiveness, he forgives us instantly. But sometimes I got to talk to my brother or sister in the Lord to be healed. So that's at 6 on Tuesday at the community center. And then Saturday night prayer meeting. We've been having amazing prayer services. If you weren't here, you got to come. You guys watching online, get back to the house of God. Um, It's time for the church to assemble together. Amen. That's what the Bible says. So uh, God bless you guys. And uh, on that note, next Sunday is Baptism Sunday. And if you want to be baptized, if you're a candidate for baptism, there's a sign-up sheet. Today is the deadline for baptism. So I believe there's a sign-up sheet in the foyer. You can sign up there, and uh, we already have three lined up for next week, and it's going to be a great time in the house of the Lord. God bless you guys, in Jesus' name. Sister Reed, come and sing for the glory of God. Let's worship with this precious lady. Amen. As she leads us in little deeper in worship. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. I'm going to get rid of Pastor Dylan's germs. <laughs> Got cooties. Shall we praise the Lord, everybody? Hallelujah! Shall we praise the Lord another time? Hallelujah! Amen. I am so happy. I am my... I don't even know what to say, but only God knows. Yes, yes. As we have a saying that you don't know, like I know, well, have been through where we've been. Bless the Lord Jesus. Especially seeing my son sitting here today. Only God knows. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When I looked at him through FaceTiming him in the hospital, all all I was seeing was just death over him. He couldn't even talk, just rambling on. Couldn't make sense. All he was doing, just yelling at me for no reason. And I just started crying. And I remember a message our dear pastor preached. And until now, I held on to that message. I remember him preaching one Sunday. I was lying in my bed listening to the message. And he said, use what you've got. And I said, God, I don't have much. I don't know what to do. And I have, a li- listen, saints. You see that consecrated olive oil that our pastor uses? Let me tell you something. Don't play around with it. Don't you dare play around with it. I had a, just a little drums in the bottle. And I got up and the Spirit of God said, call him upstairs. And I called him upstairs, pour it in my hands. And I anoint him in the name of Jesus, the only saving name I know. And I anoint him from the crown of his head down to the soles of his feet. And I spoke to that devil and I said, you're not getting my son. I said, no, you're not getting my son. I said, I dedicated him at the age of three months and he belongs to Jesus. God has blessed him with so many talents and the devil sees that he can be of use to the kingdom of God and he's tried to and I I looked at him through my phone screen and I said devil in the name of Jesus take your hands off my son because he belongs to Jesus and I rebuked death and I said go back to the pit of hell you're not getting him and on the sixth, I was in the backyard and the kids. And one of the kids looked through the gate and I heard them say, Mom, Jay is in the parking lot. I'm going, stop playing around, kid. And he says, yes, Mom, Jay is in the parking lot. I got up and I looked through the gate. He was just standing there looking at me. I just broke. And I said, God, had it not been for you. I would have been burying my son today. The doctors 
looked at him and said, let me tell you, saints of God, the God we serve, when we pray, we know he hears. That is the reason why I totally endorse prior service because I know what it can do. And the doctors, I think about four different teams, looked at him and said, we don't know what's going on. We have no answers. They did test after test after test and everyone came back negative. They test him for COVID, he didn't have COVID. They did bone marrow biopsy, nothing. The other, they, they, they started treating him for TB. He didn't have TB. And the other day I took him back for a checkup and the main doctor looked at him, he was shocked to see him. He said, man, I can't believe you're in civilian clothes. And I'm sitting there just rolling my eyes and going, you don't know the God I serve. And he said to me, he said, man, I'm so happy to see you. And he said, um, so how's the knee? And they were treating him for this for the knee. And then he said, Jay, I don't believe those other doctors. They didn't know what they were talking about. This is one of the main specialists. Say to us, they don't know what they were talking about. And I said, Doc, if you know the God I serve, if you know my daddy, Jesus, let me tell you something. And he's here today. And this is song that I'm going to sing. It's one of his favorite songs, and he asked me to sing it for him. And I pray to God that you just worship God. And many of you, all of us, we've got our crossroads. We've got our trials and our testing. But trust God. When our pastor delivers the word, don't let it go through one ear and go through the other. Let it sink deep into your sanctified soul. Take the word, act upon it, and ask God to help you to understand what you don't understand. Because let me tell you something. If you, if you should hear the rest of my story, my God. Hey, let me tell you something. I've got some testimonies buried down here. That hear me one of these days. One of these days. But I'm going to be obedient today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. don't know about tomorrow I just live wing it sister wing it wing it from day to day I think I'm a little bit too high there I don't know about tomorrow I just live from day to day I don't borrow from its sunshine, for its skies may turn to gray. I don't worry all the future. Tomorrow, 
it may bring me poverty. But to the one who feeds the sparrow is the one who stands by me. Oh, and the path that be my portion, it me through the flame of love.
life with us. Would you stand to your feet right now? Would you stand to your feet right now? And in the name of Jesus, I bless you. In the name of Jesus, I cover you with the blood. In the name of Jesus, I stir up the giftings that are within you and the anointings that rest on you. In the name of Jesus, I call you blessed and highly favored. In the name of Jesus, I proclaim you are the head and not the tail. In the name of Jesus, I say you're blessed and not cursed. In the name of Jesus, I say you will live and not die. In the name of Jesus, I say you are healed and not sick. Hey, and let this blessing go with you as you leave this house. God bless you today in Jesus' name.